Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. God, the lighting is awful. Sorry for the noise, sorry for the lighting. Oh, and sorry for that in my first video of the year that I posted last week, I started the video and I said, Happy New Year everyone, it's 2023 when it's obviously 2024, which is so silly of me, but I feel like the first half of January, we're all just gonna spend writing 2023 and then crossing it out and putting 2024, that's just how it goes. But anyway, I am walking to, um, yes, walking. <laughs> There's actually a very, amaz a very amazing gym near where I work at the Bureau. The gym is called Studio Republic and you can walk there. You just cut through the metro and then walk down Shake's Eyed a little bit. And if anybody remembers, if anybody watched my YouTube channel like three years ago, which I don't know if any of you are left, but if, you do, if you're still around, then you'll probably remember it and you'll probably know that I used to come here all the time. I was addicted and I used to just love going to all their classes. Um, and the reason I'm heading there tonight is because I want to dip my toe, a baby step, back into doing dance classes, which I used to love doing, um, all when I was a teenager. And yeah, I just thought, why not? So I booked a ballet class and, well, it's actually called Ballet Basics, which I think is great because I don't want anything that's too difficult partially because i've not done it in years and especially so because i did a workout yesterday and my body is literally so sore but anyway i booked it so i'm still gonna go and yeah wish me luck hey guys it was really good i really enjoyed it but i'm so tired now like i'm exhausted i'm so excited to just get home i'm getting a taxi but yeah, I survived. I'm so proud of myself for putting myself out there and just going for it. Why not? Good morning, everyone. Wow, what a bed head. Um, I was so tired last night. I couldn't even like fill you in on how everything went at, this, at Studio Republic. So I thought I'd just give you a little debrief now. Um, what day even is it? It's Thursday. I cannot believe it's Thursday already. I know I was kind of doing really well of starting all my vlogs at the start of the week, but I'm a bit out of sync, but never mind. Um, I went to ballet yesterday and I really liked it, although it's so funny when you do something that you used to do like maybe as a kid or like that you've not done in a few years, I really feel like in my head, I knew what to do, but my body couldn't really do it anymore. Like I'm not as flexible, I'm not as strong. And I was kind of just like, oh, <laughs> it's weird it was kind of just like a weird feeling but I did really enjoy it you know don't get me wrong I did really enjoy it I think I will give another class a go maybe not in the evening though because I think since I kind of have the luxury of working for myself and being able to dictate like my schedule I may as well like take that opportunity and go in the daytime when I have a bit more energy so I'm thinking I'm gonna go next Tuesday they have a class um in the morning so I'm gonna go in the morning and see and that's actually a 90 minute class as well so I feel like you get a bit more for your money as well which I think will be good and I spoke to the teacher and yeah even though I did the basics one last night I think I'll be all right in the like regular one if you like just because I do have a lot of dance background but just not for the past few years but hopefully it's gonna all come back to me and yeah, I kind of feel like in a way I do feel like a bit of a cliche because it's January and I was just thinking like, mm, I wonder how many people are trying new hobbies this week and going to give them up. If that's you, that's absolutely fine. Like it's, it's so nice to be able to just try things. Like there is nothing wrong with just trying, giving things a go and just trying things. Take sourdough, for example. Is anybody else obsessed with sourdough or is that just me? I am going to be making my next loaf tomorrow which I'm excited about, which will be loaf number three. And hopefully it goes a bit better. But it's interesting because I think in Dubai, I found it, well, not hard, but maybe it's just difficult because I don't really know what I'm talking about. But like, let me just get, let me just get comfy so I can chat to you guys. Um, what I found 
difficult is knowing what flower to buy because I got this all-purpose flower that I ordered on Kibson's and it's arrived and obviously flower is flower so it's fine even though the packaging is in Arabic but um, I still feel like I probably shouldn't have just got the cheapest one because there's so many different types of flower so I need to kind of experiment with different types um, Kibson's also had one that had was like an Italian bread frat Blah, blah, what a tongue twister italian bread flour which was reduced so i bought that as well um i also bought wholemeal flour but it didn't seem to like that so yeah still learning but would love to hear from any of you if you've started a new kind of hobby or resolution or something because it's fun it's honestly good fun and i was actually flicking through this morning um i was literally flicking through this recipe book that i got for did I get this for Christmas or for my birthday? I can't remember, but I got it. I've had it at least six months. So maybe it was, maybe it was for Christmas. Maybe I've had it a year. Um, and yeah, I saw it still on the shelves in the UK. It's a Sunday Times bestseller called One Pot Pan Planet. And I was just going through and saving, mentally saving some of the recipes that I want to try next week. There's a um, cardamom dal that I want to try and there's a cabbage soup cabbage soup sounds so boring but it sounded really interesting winter cabbage and apple i can't find the page now but it sounded really interesting um so yeah a few things that i want to kind of try and do but i've been really loving getting kind of not closer to cooking because i've always loved cooking but i really feel like i made so much time last weekend to just spend in the kitchen and usually I'm so like I don't even know what I'm like I'm like plans every weekend always doing stuff which is fun but it felt really nice to just not have any plans or anything to do other than just enjoy being at home doing some meal prep and cooking which I really enjoy and in fact let me show you this as well Connor got me this for Christmas which I think is so nice it's a recipe book written by me it's got my name on it and of course it's all empty and it's for me to fill in all my best recipes which i just think is so nice i'm so excited to fill this in um yeah a lovely gift so that's a good gift idea if anybody has a foodie in their life um anyway what am i rambling about yeah what i was just gonna say was it's thursday the weekend's coming up already I feel like me and my friends are all kind of on the same vibe right now. We're not, um, we're not <laughs> wanting to spend too much money after Christmas. I think a lot of people are like that. We're not trying to do anything too like crazy. We're very casual. We might go to the cinema this weekend. We might go see Priscilla. We might, I suggested a hike, but the girls didn't really fancy that. Well, they said yes, but not this weekend. Um, so maybe just lying in the sun. Um, most of us are doing dry January as well, which I think is always, not that you can't go out without drinking, because we definitely do. Like next weekend, next week, we're actually going to try a new um, Asia Asia restaurant, which has opened on the Palm, which I'm so excited for, which usually I probably would have a drink at, but, um, yeah, I definitely don't feel like I need to. We're still gonna go and have a lovely time, just kind of have a little catch up with the girls, girly dinner, um, maybe even try a, a mocktail if they have one. Um, yeah, how I feel about dry January, that's a good question. Maybe let's pause on that for a second because I've done dry January, I think, uh, this might be my fourth time doing it, I think. Um, last year i spent quite a lot of the year not drinking oh wait no 2022 i mean sorry 2021 and 2022 i massively cut back on drinking because i was really putting everything into my business and as anyone that has a business knows or anybody that's just been found themselves in a position where they have really needed to put everything into what they're doing whether whatever that is um you kind of just don't have room for hangover days or days off or anything like that so i did dry jan but i kind of just like extended it through the year <laughs> and i didn't completely give up alcohol but i really really stopped 
what I was doing before when I was about 21, which was kind of just, you know, going out, getting drunk, having a great time, but feeling pretty crap the next day. And I remember it got to a point where I was just like, I felt so awful and I had such bag, bag, such bad hangover anxiety that I just thought, you know what, I, I, no way am I doing this to myself anymore. So I spent two years really not drinking that much and it got to the point where I was kind of not scared to drink again, but kind of just like, I just really didn't want to feel that anxiety again because I have anxiety and I had a lot of stress. I just did everything I could to avoid that. Um, and then it was only really when I feel like I got back from Thailand last year and after a few months of like really working so hard on myself and my anxiety that I kind of allowed myself to not have fun again because for sure I was having fun the whole time. But I think it was like, that was when I was like, you know what, it doesn't need to be black and white. It doesn't need to be completely non versus going crazy. And I feel like now it's put me in a position where I truly believe that I can moderate quite well. But I know that a lot of people can't moderate and find it really difficult to stop and that kind of thing. Um, obviously it's a very sensitive topic that I know it's really difficult for so many people but either way I think January is a nice time because of that feeling of like nature is in usually in hibernation in January and it just feels like we should be slowing down and we don't need to be doing a hot girl summer type things right now that can wait for later in the year um, so yeah anyway why did I get onto that I don't know I just felt like having a chat with you guys um, so let's see what this weekend brings. But as for today, I'm gonna to go back to the bureau again today, which is the co-working space. And I went there yesterday and I felt like I was really productive. I really was. Um, I really want to make an effort to go there twice a week, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but because I've been so used to remote working that, yeah, I don't know. It just feels like so normal to work from home for me now. I don't know but I know that I think I should put myself in positions where I am getting up and getting dressed and, you know, really like making an effort to go to work in that kind of, it's like a mental thing, isn't it? It's like a mental switch. So I'm going to go to work today and go to the bureau and, um, actually my friend Teresa is going to come as well. And they're having a little like members breakfast. So I'm hoping that means there'll be an acai bowl for me on the cards. Let's see. Um, and then this evening, oh yeah, then I'm going to come back here for 6pm because I have my Italian tutoring lesson. Um, speaking of which, what I'm probably going to do after I stop um, vlogging is do one of these. This was more Christmas presents. This one was from Connor and actually this one's from Edie, which I've not started yet. But I've done two of these already, these kind of little... Um, short activities to improve your Italian one cup at a time. It's another nice gift um, because if anybody doesn't know, I am really making an effort to learn. And I was thinking to myself, one thing I would like to do this year is go to Italy to kind of practice. But even just saying that makes me a bit nervous because it's, yeah, it's so, it's so difficult. I think you just gotta like throw yourself in. Let me know in the comments if you've had any experience of like learning an, a language as an adult. I think most people I've spoken to have told me that you just need to really surround yourself with it. Um, and the reason I want to do this is because my a lot of my family is Italian and can speak Italian. Um, and I would love to live there one day. Anyway, more on that in another video. I was thinking I, I might do a video about like intentions for the year and goal setting. And I've done, I've seen a lot of YouTubers doing this kind of video and I've been watching them and enjoying them. So I was thinking I could do one of those. So let me know if um, that's something you'd be interested in. In fact, it'll probably be live by the time you're watching this. So <laughs> go and watch that video. Um, Cause otherwise I'm gonna miss like the mem momentum of the new year, like, it's what even is the date today my phone's here um i think it's like the 12th so i've got a bit of time people are still doing like new year type stuff but yeah this morning before i go to the bureau i was going to go to the gym but my 
body is so sore. Like I've done two workouts and one ballet class. Um, actually no, three workouts since being back in Dubai. And all of them I found so difficult because I took Christmas off and I just feel like my body needs to rest. I'm trying to get my protein in, I'm trying to get my sleep. So I thought what I'd do is I'd put my rest day here and do my two other workouts for the week on Friday and Saturday. Usually we don't do them on the weekend. Um, but I feel like because I'm in charge of my schedule right now, I make the rules, you know? I make the rules. So I'm gonna give myself a rest day because I feel like I need it. But what I thought I'd do instead is go for a little walk. You know, just go for a walk. I feel like I'm always going for runs and my body doesn't need to run right now. I can just walk. So I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm in the middle of a really good podcast um, episode, which is um, Diary of a CEO with, I think her name's Kristen, Kristen something. She's a fitness expert and I'm halfway through that. I really want to finish the end of it because I was just fascinated by it, um, hearing about sleep and recovery. And they also talk about alcohol and the effects on the body and very, very interesting. All of, all this kind of thing that I love learning about. So I might just put my headphones in, get my coffee cup on the go and just have a nice walk through the park. So let's get dressed and let's go. <laughs> Talking to each other, I know we feel the same About the situation, like we're stuck inside a game Time to get out of this circle, yeah we both carry a scar As you write the part we're playing, time to cherish who we are The only thing I ever wanted, starts with us taking the chance Not like anything we've done before, oh, oh Hello everyone, good morning. It's now Saturday and I am about to get going on a run, but I just wanted to jump on here and say that exciting news, we have 10,000 subscribers here on the channel, which is so exciting. Um, it really is, yeah, just so crazy to me. Like I, I always just think how crazy it would be if everybody was just like stood in a group, like how many people that would be and how intimidating that would be to talk to all of you. But I really appreciate all of you that come back and watch all my videos. Um, it does not go unnoticed. I see all your comments. Um, and thank you so much. I'm so excited to see what kind of is in store this year for YouTube in particular. I actually drew up a bit of a plan of action for the next few videos, which I'm excited about. Obviously, I'm always taking requests, so please leave any requests in the comments. Um, but yeah, what a way to kind of start the year. How exciting. I'm now gonna go on this run. I want to continue with another weekend of kind of wellness. Um, so I'm going on a run and it's a beautiful day outside, sunny and breezy. So I'm gonna make the most of it. I've got my SPF on and yeah, just feel the sunlight on my skin. I've got a podcast in my ears. I'm gonna be listening to a Huberman Lab podcast with Robert Green. Um, I've been really on my podcast hype recently. I don't know if it's like a new year thing and everybody's kind of feeling this self-development type stuff, but yeah, I've been absolutely loving a podcast. So. And sometimes I do listen to music when I run, to be honest. It really depends how I'm feeling. Um, I know some people say that they can't listen to a podcast when they're running because they need kind of a beat to run to, but I do quite like listening to a podcast. So yeah, I'm gonna get my run done. Then I am going to, when Kibson's arrives, I'm gonna be doing a haul for you guys and meal prep and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then this afternoon I'm shooting YouTube content. So quite a fun day, let's go. Well guys, I went on my run. I was honestly having such a good time on that run and I did walk for a little bit afterwards just because I was so into the podcast. The podcast episode is three hours long. I mean, I only got through, I think, just over an hour. Um, but yeah, I have I was just in my element, the sun shining. It was just lovely. Um, I'm now showered, as you can see, and I'm watching Glee. I can't remember if I told you this, but Glee was my biggest obsession when I was a teenager. Like, I used to love it when I was, like, 12 or however old I was when it came out. I used to just love it. 
and I'm reliving that love. It's on Disney Plus, so I'm just loving re-watching it. It's a trip down memory lane. And since it's the weekend, I thought I would treat myself to a Joe and the Juice because have I had one this yeah, I haven't had one this year. Wow, two weeks. <laughs> two weeks into the year. Um you guys know this is my kind of guilty pleasure, but I just thought, since I'm having such a chill... Right, this is girl math. Here's a bit of girl math for you. Because I'm having such a chill weekend, I'm not spending any money. Like, I would be... Usually, I'd be spending money on maybe a pool day or something. And that can be quite pricey, you know, even a glass of wine out for dinner. But I'm not going... I'm not doing any of that. I'm just sitting at home in my apartment. So, in my mind, that means... Oh, great, that means I can probably treat myself to a bit of an expensive coffee for no reason and I also got the uh vegan avocado sandwich which is just so satisfying from there as well um and yeah I've decided that I'm gonna chill for a little bit I'm gonna do some kind of life admin that I have to do then I'm go well it's not exciting at all but I'll tell you what it is anyway I need to basically sell my um old vlogging camera and my old laptop so I just need to take some good photos of them and list them on Dubizzle which is like a buying and selling website. So I'm gonna list those. What else am I gonna do? I am going to do my meal prep when Kibson's arrives. I'm going to film some YouTube content, which will be fun. Um, I've also got um, some art projects that are kind of half finished in the other room. So I might even look at that if I have time and maybe do some journaling. So very much self-care today, very much. And then I was thinking I'll go to the gym kind of later on because I think it'll be quieter then. Or oh, actually, I just don't know. On a Saturday, I feel like you never can tell. But yeah, I'm going to go to the gym, do my legs. It's a lower body workout. That will be the fourth strength workout of the week. So that means tomorrow is rest day, which will be good. Um, so yeah, time to enjoy my coffee and the rest of this Glee episode. Mm -mm -mm. So good. You know, when everyone was getting these and like, I feel like it was such a thing. It was just such a thing. And I didn't really get it. I was kind of just like, what's the hype? But oh my God, now I get it. I don't know why, but I just really crave it. You know what I think it is? I think it's the vegan pesto. And I could definitely do a homemade. In fact, I have done vegan pesto, a homemade before. This just hits the spot so bad. So good. And I'm loving watching Glee. <laughs> And I was just thinking about how I used to be such a, like a theatre kid, as they say, and it's just so fun to kind of relive it. And it actually made me think of this post that I saw, I think, on Instagram this morning, which was like, being in your 20s is just rediscovering all the things you loved as a teenager, but like, now you don't care what other people think. And it's honestly so true. Like, I'm leaning into that heavy. I feel like, yeah, recently that is so my vibe. I just finished the episode and I was watching it and I had a big smile on my face because I remembered two things that I wanted to share with you guys that really just made me laugh. I hope I've not got spinach in my teeth because I've just finished my Joe and the Dew sandwich. But um, they did, in the episode I just watched, they did a song, The Dog Days Are Over, which is Florence and the Machine. Obviously, Glee is full of covers, just in case anybody doesn't know what Glee is. It's a programme where they are all singing, all dancing, all the time. And I remember um, it must have been when I was in year eight, when I was watching this series, because I remember loving doing that song. Like, um, that was one of my go-to songs to sing. And I remember being on a school trip. Um, I went on a school trip to France when I was in year eight, so when I was 12. Um, and I remember I had so much fun and I remember we were driving around France in this coach and I remember there being loads of driving to be honest but honestly when you're when you're you know in a coach full of your friends it was just fun but um, the coach had one of these little microphones at the front of the coach of like this, this is like basically like a big bus and at this front they had this microphone and people were doing all sorts. We were doing like games over the over the microphone, the teachers were doing games and I remember one at one point um we did like a little karaoke uh, a cappella competition and I remember singing that song uh or the first few verses um over like over the microphone on the coach and it was it's just such a funny 
thing to remember. I really remember just feeling so proud of myself and having everybody clap for me was just so much fun. And the other thing I remembered, which is like less heartwarming, more embarrassing, but it is funny, was I remember randomly, it's so funny what you, what you like latch onto when you're that age, but there was an online, you know, these online websites where you can get your photos printed and you can get like photo calendars and all this kind of thing. I think I was getting some photo photos printed and then it says um, like a free, almost like a free sample of business cards. And I was like, oh, I'm going to make myself some business cards. And on the business cards, I, like I just used this free sample, obviously I didn't pay for them. And I think I got 15 business cards made for free. And on the business card, I, I put um, musical theatre enthusiast and full-time gleek, which is just so funny. Like Mabel Golden, full-time gleek, which is just, oh my God, so funny. Um, but that's 100% what I was. And I guess that's what I am now as well. So, so funny. Um, anyway, <laughs> enough reminiscing down memory lane. In fact, speaking of memory lane, oh my God, I feel like I've been on a real journey this morning because that just reminds me my friend asked me for some recommendations for um well her friend is going to las vegas and she just said oh uh send me any of your favorite things that you did while you were there me and my friend kirsty went in 2022 for my 24th birthday we had the best time and i read that message and i was putting together a little list of our favorite things to do and then i thought you know what i'm just gonna watch my own vlog now don't judge me i don't make a habit of watching my own vlogs when i'm home alone like that's not how i spend my time trust me but it was really nice to just reminisce and it's just yeah i love having this channel as a time capsule for me personally um and i was just watching it and just thinking how much i loved that trip and how much fun we had and how i'd love to go again or some you know some explore some other places in America as well um because I definitely love to travel you know me you know I'm always here there and everywhere but yeah that was another fun kind of um way to relive way to relive it really um now I've decided to I'm going to go and get my journal and do a bit of journaling I don't know if anybody else is on their kind of new year journaling hype but I feel like I'm trying to be that girl like you it's so funny isn't it you need to kind of make it a habit and I've not made it a habit yet like I still need to like kind of force myself to do it me and Connor do try and do gratitude practices but I do want to get into the habit of writing it down especially because for the next few weeks Connor's not here in Dubai with me I feel like I really need to make time for it so that's what I'm doing now I'm going to do some journaling I've got some prompts I'm following like an online course um with some writing prompts so yeah, that's how I'm gonna spend the next part of my day. Hi everyone. I'm looking very glam <laughs> for a grocery haul. Sorry, let me just adjust my tripod a little bit. Is that okay? No. There we go. I've just done my makeup because I'm shooting some YouTube content this afternoon, which is why I kind of wanted to get glammed up. And it's so funny when I do like a, a sit down video, I always kind of think it's a different, I don't know, it's, it's not that I don't make an effort for you guys, but I know it's like pretty much, it, it, it should be the same people watching. So I'm like, why am I making such an effort? But I'm like, it's fun, you know? It's fun to, to make a bit of an effort for a sit down video. But anyway, uh, Kipson's has just arrived um, and I was just making my lunch when I answered the door in full glam. Um, I made myself a, let me show you. I made myself a Thai, noodle, veggie and tofu soup. I feel like this is my current um, just like obsession meal. Cause it's so easy. It's so easy with Thai curry paste. Wow, so easy. So yeah, I love to just do a little noodle um, soup situation. Anyway, it's boiling hot, so I'm gonna let it cool down. And in the meantime, I'm gonna show you a few things that have arrived for me. This actually arrived the other night, but I didn't show you guys, so. Um, the brand Powder Beauty, which is kind of an online marketplace for vegan and sustainable beauty products, has sent me one of their new brand launches. And I've actually heard of this brand, but I've never tried it. It's called 
Farley body. You, you might recognize, I feel like these are very recognizable, this packaging. Um, I think it's Australian, but I'm gonna have to check that because I'm not 100% sure, but it's all uh, vegan self-tan and tanning products. So I've got their dark tanning mousse. I've got their watermelon tanning oil. I've got a new mitt, which is great because I need one of those. And I'm probably, this is what I'm probably most excited for is the face, face. I was gonna say facial, but then I said face. Face tan mist. Um, they have sent me the dark one. Let's see how dark it is. I feel like I'm quite pale at the moment because I spent two weeks in England. And I've not had too much sun since being back. So I'm excited to do a bit of tanning. I might do it tonight and show you the results. But anyway, what you, you're probably more excited about is the groceries. Right? In fact, actually, I saw a girl on Instagram get like a gifted box from Kibson's, and I was like, oh my god, Kibson's, like, hello, <laughs> I'm an influencer. Like, let me, I'm just turning that away, and I hope you can't hear. Oh my god, um, I can just hear the mask, but I don't know if you guys can hear it. But anyway, wow, look how green that is. So green and lovely and um, they put all the kind of loose herbs on the top which is why it looks so green we've got basil we've got coriander times two because i'm obsessed with coriander we've got ooh, spring onions we've got so much and they forgot this last time i had to chat with them and be like why you forgot my spinach but they sell these spinach bunches that are just one dirham each, which I think is great because you can pay more obviously for baby spinach, but it does the job, you know, for one dirham. I think it's because it's um, grown in the UAE, which makes it a bit cheaper, which is great. They do grow crops in the UAE. So that is my lovely spinach for the week, which I have for breakfast. And it's also going in a dal that I'm making. In fact, shall I just show you? what I'm making, I've got this book. What did I show you the other day? I'm going crazy. I don't think I did. Did I bookmark it? That would have been smart if I did, yeah. So I'm making this, which is a dal. And you know I love a dal. I make one pretty much every week because it just, it's just so good. Um, so as you can see, it's got spinach in it. So trying that out this week. Um, celery, what else have we got here? Baby kale. Yeah, this is what I was meaning about like, you can pay more for the kind of like the baby spinach, or whatever, it comes in something like this. Then we have, oh wow, it's quite a big bottle actually. That's good because I think it was like 30 dirhams or 25 dirhams or something. This is a vegan coconut kefir. Kefir, if you don't know, is a kind of probiotic um, gut health kind of thing. I don't know what it actually is. I mean, usually it's with milk, but you can do it with coconut milk. Fermented milk with coconut. Oh, it better not be actual milk. Oh my God, it is. Oh, I think they've sent me the wrong one then. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna chat with them. Aw, I was excited for that because that's very misleading. It says coconut and it's all green, but it's not vegan. Damn it. Mmm, damn it. I really didn't think to look. It does have a tab on Kipsons for all the what am I saying, for all the ingredients, and I didn't think to look on it. Damn it, okay, I'm gonna chat with them and see if I can return it. Um, sometimes they do allow that. Anyway, what else have we got? Flour, to continue my baking journey, and I'm actually doing some baking this afternoon, so I'll update you on how that goes. Um, this week, I'm trying a few different flours. This week, I'm trying the M&S Strong White Bread Flour. I tried a brown loaf, so my loaf number three in my sourdough journey was a fail it was a brown loaf i don't think i probably have to throw it away it's overproofed i think and i'm not happy with it but never mind that, that that's the way it goes you know when you when you're a sourdough baker a novice then you know that's how it goes firm tofu lots of firm tofu for that protein what are these I think these are coriander seeds. They come in quite a big bag and it's only three dirhams. This is one of the ingredients in the dal that I didn't already have. Got the garlic. What else do we have? Oh yeah, more herbs. These are curry leaves. Um, 
also for the doll, I believe. What's in here? Oh, apples. Apples aren't normally on my shopping list, surprisingly. Actually, that's a lie. It comes and goes. Um, don't normally, wouldn't normally shop for them. But I'm making, let me get the recipe book back out. I think it's the page after the doll. But I'm also doing, here we go. Winter red cabbage soup. And you know, I love cabbage. Have I mentioned that? I'm obsessed with cabbage. Connor knows I love cabbage. And cabbage soup, I think sounds boring, but winter red cabbage and apple soup sounds amazing. So that sounds fantastic. I'm very excited to try this. So yeah, the apples are going in that. I'm gonna have to be quick with this because my lunch is there going cold. Um, Caraway powder, that's just another little kind of ingredient that I didn't have in already. Then we have, oh, I seem to have ordered a lot of milk this week. Last week, I think I was telling you guys how I only shopped one, wait, was that even last week? Or was that in the same video? Whoops, I think because I'm a bit early with this order, it might be the same video, but never mind. I've got two almond milks and one soy milk here. Got my cabbage, obviously, my soup. What other ingredient have we got here? Oh, these are the coriander seeds. What was the other thing then? Mustard seeds, okay. I didn't know what they looked like. Then we've got some chickpeas. I usually buy the chickpeas pre-cooked in a can, but I kind of just had this thing where I was just like, Mm, I don't want to eat canned food. Like, I don't know. I just got this wave of like, how long is how long is it in the warehouse for? I don't know. I can't describe it. I feel like it just came over me that I was just like, when were those chickpeas grown? Although then I guess you could say that about dried food as well. But anyway, I don't know. I just decided to get dried this this time. Let's mix it up a bit, shall we? We've got beetroot, we've got lemons, I think these are oranges. Yeah, we've got oranges. I've been doing my turmeric and orange shots in the morning, which is, I, I'm loving. I've got another flower. This is that cheap flower that I bought the first time and it actually made the best loaf so far. So I just bought the cheap one again. Um, veggie stock cubes and tomatoes and that's it that is my kibson's order um i'm gonna eat my lunch now so i'll talk to you guys in a little while hi everyone happy sunday i've just decided to put my phone on the window ledge i don't know why instead of getting my tripod which is probably like a meter away but anyway um it is sunday it is in the middle of the afternoon i feel like i've been on my wellness hype today because I woke up and I went and did my lower body workout that I put off yesterday and I did a spin class right after it not to brag but I am feeling quite proud of myself for that and then I had kind of just a bit of why do I feel like I'm constantly doing chores I don't know if this is like just really noticing that Connor's not here and I have to do literally everything myself but then I just did chores like yeah and I <laughs> feel like that took up a good portion of the day um then what did I do oh yeah then I posted my YouTube video of intentions and I started to um kind of do a bit of research on my own channel about what you guys are actually enjoying on my channel and like what videos are doing the best and I wanted to ask you guys to please leave me some comments and specific things that you want to see over the next few weeks because I will definitely work those in the ones that I already have on my radar are pros and cons of JVC life because I know um a lot of people are thinking of moving to JVC and there's a few other ones as well that relate to like moving to Dubai but I want to hear it from you um anyway I feel like I'm a bit out of breath because I've just been on a walk I thought I would go on a walk and because I because I like I said yesterday I really enjoyed that walk that I went on and I just had something interesting in my ears and yeah it's just really nice it's such a good temperature at the moment and going on a walk is one of the free things you can do in Dubai on a Sunday I did I was considering going to a spa today there's a spa that I love the Sofitel spa on the palm 
and I love it there. And it is good value for money because it's 150 dirhams to enter the spa, which I think is great. But what put me off was the fact because, um, you know, Kirsty's traveling, Jen's busy with her family, George is busy today. So I had no one to go with. I was considering going on my own, but what put me off was getting to book my Kareem, my taxi there, was 70 dirhams there. And then I was thinking 70 dirhams back. So overall, it's going to be nearly 300 dirhams for the day, which is about 60 pounds. And I kind of thought, is that aligned to my January spending goals? Not really. It, it would be if it was like, you know, a bit of social time as well. But I thought if it was just for me, then I'm going to leave it and I'm just going to have another day at home. But that kind of officially makes this weekend one of the few weekends in my life where I have had no plans and I've not done well, I have to, I feel like I've, how have I managed to do so much without having any plans? I actually don't know. But one thing I thought of doing, instead of going to get a nice kind of, basically at the spa, I forgot to mention this, at the spa, they have an indoor spa, but they also have a pool, um, a pool area, which is so nice because I was thinking, sun, that's what I want. But then I was put off by the price. So here's what I've come up with instead. Tomorrow at Zero Gravity, they do on a monday and a tuesday they do free entry for ladies and i thought to myself well i work for myself i can decide what my monday work looks like and i might go tomorrow morning at 10 a.m to zero gravity and have a little sunbathe so that's kind of how i'm leaning oh yeah and obviously that's gonna be free and it's about 50 dirhams in a taxi so i feel like that's a bit more justifiable because what I really want is sunshine on my skin and I can get that tomorrow. So you'll have to come back because that'll be in the next video, but that's what I'm going to do. Today I am just going to, what am I going to do now? Oh yeah, let's go and look at my sourdough uh, dough that I prepped this morning and it's probably looking good now. Okay. Oh my goodness, she's definitely doubled in size. This is so exciting. So what I'm gonna do now is put the oven on um, and preheat the oven. I think she's ready to go. Then we just score it, which is creating those lines in the top. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna bake my sourdough loaf. This is loaf number four. I've got high hopes for this one. So fingers crossed it comes out well. What else am I gonna do? Oh yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of kind of just cooking prep. Um, and that's it. So. I'll update you with how my progress goes. On my way home, stumbling on the pavement, on the pavement, yeah, yeah. No sleep in my body, last night got me wasted, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody calling my phone up just to make sure I get home safe and sound, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, excuse the messy kitchen, but I'm just going to have some of this um, turmeric and orange drink. And I read somewhere online that, or it was in a video or something, that you need to put black pepper in it as well to help the turmeric absorb. So I always do that. So I'm just going to put some black pepper in it. And there you have it. Um, getting out of that hot kitchen. My sourdough loaf is in, but I just still feel like it's not as good as the first one I did. I don't know what I did the first time. Um, anyway, actually, let's not judge that right away because there's still 10 minutes left, but let's see. Um, I'm just gonna enjoy my turmeric and orange, um, and I might put on, you thought I was gonna say glee, I actually took a break from Glee last night and I started a new series because Connor's not here and I just thought a new series for me to watch will be nice and I decided to start Downton Abbey. I've never seen it before and I enjoyed the first episode so I might put on the second episode of Downton Abbey. I'm in my pyjamas. I've not even had my dinner yet but I'm in my pyjamas because it's a Sunday. Sorry, that's just the air fryer that you can hear but I just wanted to show you um, loaf number four. I've just cut into loaf number four and I still feel like my first loaf is the best one I've done, but never mind. So I am pleased with it, but it's too dense, I would say. I think it, I want it to be, I want it to kind of rise a bit more and this feels a bit dense, but I'm pleased with the crust. It's not burnt on the bottom like the first one was. 
still tastes good and I still I'm definitely gonna have it but um yeah I'm gonna have some now with my dinner but I think the problem is with my starter and I think there's some starter care that I could do with reading up on I was just I just fell down a TikTok hole a second ago and I, I've, I'm gonna try a few things out for my starter which I'll tell you about in the next video um, but now I'm going to have my dinner watch down to Abby and love you and leave you and I will see you guys in the next video um, please thumbs up this video and don't forget to watch my other Dubai vlogs um, if you're interested in life here in Dubai see you in the next video bye guys